That was before. From now on, there will be two lives for Casey and Heath Walford. Before, when he was a roper and she was too. When their eyes met in a Sarepta cafe and love followed. It was, he was the one. And after, the explosion at the gas well. And I heard it. The horrible burns over 80% of his body. I said, you know, how bad is it? And I said, it's real bad. The nightmare of not knowing if Heath would live or die. It happened for a reason and I can't ask why. It's just it is what it is. And we're gonna be better because of it. The 80 agonizing days and nights trying to heal. And the questions. You know, I said, nobody will blame you one bit, you know, if you wanna break break right now. Would she stay? I mean, I wouldn't blame you for leaving. After all, they had only been dating a few months. They weren't even engaged. That's what I told him. I said, I can't leave you. You need me. How could you leave anybody when they needed you? So she stayed. Casey, she, she drove over there 80 days in a row, so. Up at 2 a.m., work till 10. Go take a shower and drive to LSU and stay about till 9 or 10 and then go home and do it all over. 80 get well cards. I'm so glad God blessed the two of us in allowing us to find each other. Love you more than you know. Love always, Casey. How often would you do a card like that? Every day. And Casey, they, those were the ones that, that, I, that I waited for every day. You know. And every day since, Casey has been his rock. I mean, I had to help him take a bath, wash his hair, put lotion on his body. Heath knew he had a keeper. Are you amazed? That's oh yeah, her. Lord, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm simply, simply amazed. Married Casey last June. I there, I don't think I could have searched for a thousand years and found, found anybody any better than her, you know. When the preacher got to the part about in sickness and in health, no one doubted this girl. I knew, knew that she was something special. You know, she she was she was definitely a, my angel. Casey's not sure what all the fuss is about. I mean, it's love though. I mean, he's the one. I want to be with him. I mean, that's the ups, the downs, the in betweens. The ups, the downs, the in-betweens. Wow. One of the reasons I wanted to run this story is that we all know the statistics about marriage, half ending in divorce, and sadly for those who profess to be Christians, the numbers are not much better. But if you are trying to live it out, and by that I mean going to church together, studying the Word of God together, praying together, the chances for that marriage working are far better. It's worth remembering. With a promise of hope, I'm Rick Rowe.